Hello students, welcome back. This is a question from GATE 2014 exam, set 2. It's for 2 marks. They are asking, what is the number of self-dual functions on n variables? Okay, first thing is, what is a self-dual function? For that, you need to know what is dual of a function. Both of the things are defined in the question, but if it's better if you know them already. Okay, so dual of a function is, say we have a function x, y plus z. To find its dual, you need to do two things. First is, all the ones are changed to zeros and zeros are changed to ones. You can see we don't have any one or zero here. So we need not do this step. Second step is, change dot to plus and plus to dot. Okay, this is the dual of the given function. Now, if a function and its dual both are same, we call such a function as a self-dual function. Okay. And they are asking us to find out the number of self-dual functions. So there is a condition for a function to be self-dual. It says, first condition is number of min terms must be equal to the number of max terms. That means will the output of this function can be either 0 or 1 at any given input. This condition says number of zeros is equal to number of ones. Okay, it must be so. And the second condition is in a mutually exclusive pair, exactly one of the input must lead to output 0 and exactly one input must lead to output 1. Okay, what it means is, this one is a mutually exclusive pair. That means this input and this input form a mutually ex exclusive pair. One of them must output high, one of them must output low. That means you can write a 1 and a 0 here. Or this one could be 0 and that could be 1. Okay. It is not possible that both of them are 0 at the same time or both of them are zero, uh, 1 at the same time. Okay. Now let's try to find out how many such functions are possible. But before that, let me just give an example of a self dual function. Say all of these are 1s and all of these are zeros this function will be a self-dual function. You can see out of these uh, this pair, only one of them is high. Similarly, for this pair, only one of them is high. And you can analyze it for all the pairs. Now let's try to find the number of self-dual functions possible on n variables. Let us take n is equal to 3. Okay, here you can, three, uh, you can see with the three variables, the total number of inputs possible are 8. Okay, that is 2 raised to the power 3. So you have 8 inputs to the function. And these inputs, when you try to form pairs of these inputs, you will get 8 by 2 mutually exclusive pairs. Okay. That is 4. Now, if you consider any one pair, you have two choices. Either it can be 1, 0 or it can be 0, 1. That means for each pair, you have two choices. You have to place 1 on any one of these. You can place it either here or you can place it either here. Okay. For each of these pairs, you have two choices. And how many pairs are there in total? Four pairs, okay. So this is the answer for three variables. Now let us generalize it. In general case, how many inputs will we have? If there are n variables, you can see the number of inputs will be 2 raised to the power n, okay. So instead of 8, you have 2 raised to the power n. 2 raised to the power 3 was 8. Okay, that's how we got 8. And how many mutually exclusive pairs will be formed? That will be 2 raised to the power n divided by 2. 2 raised to the power n divided by 2, which comes out to be 2 raised to the power n minus 1. Okay. You have these many pairs. Now, there are two methods to write a 1 for any given pair. Okay. Two methods for first pair, two methods for second. Similarly, 
टू मैथड फॉर ईच ऑफ टू रेज टू दावर एन माइनस वन पेयर ओके सो दिस विल कम टू बी टू रेज टू दावर टू रेज टू दावर एन माइनस वन दिस इज योर आंसर ओके